springboard for Bitcoin's next phase of the bull cycle is about to start. Make sure you are stayed tuned right to the very end of this video. Thank you for being here with me once again on the Crypto Bliss channel. Let's delve right in. You see, I have been doing some crazy stuff for you. This is a FUD thumbnail. You guys know that. You know what that is all about. But is it about to take a dramatic turn? Yes, it is. And oh, I'm just giving you a, a head advance on this video. But you can see that I've been speaking about how Bitcoin explosion and crypto explosion is unfolding. My friends, do not miss out on the opportunity to make these massive, massive gains that I have been talking to you about recently all over my channel. Let's delve right in today with crypto and Bitcoin pretty much taking a very strong stance on the 200, a very nice bounce. Amazing. We pulled right up here and then we broke, right? So we broke through the 200. So let's start right here, okay? Flunked up, bought back up. The market went straight pretty much to a very much down sloping resistance trend right there, which was actually resistance on the moving averages here also. Now, interesting that we had this hard crash back down an immediate buy back up on this horizontal level, as you can see right here, where there is some decently strong support. Now, since then, we have bounced right back up, right back up into this um, resistance area here we pull back we bounced right back into the moving average and the down sloping trend for a retrace and a pullback on the breakthrough of the resistance level here which was also might i say to you a conjunction at all of the moving averages around the 200 moving average this is very powerful and then we bounced right through the 200 moving average we have not yet at this point had a pullback to the 200 moving average. A pullback to the 200 moving average is going to be phenomenal because essentially what that means is that we are on track for the support bounce, the springboard, like in the title of my video. And you can see that the springboard will be the next move for Bitcoin, as you can see on horizontal level. Uh, um, support level, down sloping support level around this same area here on the breakout of this triangle and the 200 and the 20 moving averages, which it's currently busy getting ready to break up out of. Now, my friend, if you have not got into your trade yet, yes, we may not get above here before the elections, okay, but we have 200. This is the day, 4th of November essentially, is the day that all of the previous bull cycles, and if you want to go and check more of those videos, more about that, you need to go and watch this video, this video, and this video, and this video here, because those videos are actually the ones that are sharing with us this point of time and how the elections essentially have a, the halving years and election years are on the same year, and those both have a way of making the market move. Now we have been sideways here for like eight, seven, eight months already. So you can see that we are back into this kind of range zone, which honestly is actually this, the range is in this area here. It's not really in this area. This was a fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out. Uh, fake out, fake out, and fake out. So, you know, at this point, we're really ranging within this extremely tight zone right here, okay? And so once we do get a breakout out of this area, I probably predict us doing something like this for a little while, maybe even a, sorry, that was terrible drawing, something like this. And building some sort of pattern to get us that momentum to really springboard up and out of here. Okay, at that point, my friend, we are going to have an explosion and eruption in Bitcoin and the crypto space. Let's delve right into the rest of the content of this video. Just in, the IMF calls for El Salvador to limit Bitcoin exposure. And Nayib Bukele says, go fuck yourself. Hell no to you, IMF. We are centralizing Bitcoin as our main currency. What a beautiful journey 
and uh, <laughs> I love it. Just like uh, Elon Musk told the the media that were investing in X to take a flying hike, so did Nayib. And so, as we can see here, Bitcoin setting up a base to retire. Q4 is gonna be on fire, my friend, on fire. Make sure you have used my Bybit link down below to trade this on Perpetuals, on um, on Spot. Come over and buy some Bitcoin. Am I in a trade right now? No, you can see I'm not in a trade right now. Right now, we're under a resistance level. It's not a good time to get into a perpetual trade or derivatives trade because we're unsure at this point right here. I would say that we need to maintain this, this higher low at this point right now over the next few days in order for me to consider getting into a perpetual trade. Is it a good place to buy a spot? Yes. This is a good place. 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 That's all a good place to buy spot. But of course, the best place to buy spot is on the dips, on the dips at the bottom. So, my friend, let's move on to the next best healthy chart here. So, lower lows, higher lows, busy forming. That's very powerful, very beautiful. This dude here, Palmer Lucky, who bought Bitcoin at two dollars and fifty-four cents, they laughed at him. Well, guess who's laughing now? Because he's saying here in 2013, I bought Bitcoin at $2.54 and they laughed. I bought post crash at $8 and they laughed again. Bitcoin stands at $191. At last, it is my turn to laugh. Well, my friends, that is beautiful. Imagine if this dude was actually holding his Bitcoin till today. Ha, that would be very, very, very powerful and very lucky. Not only that, but just in Bitwise to file to launch a Bitcoin and US Treasuries ETF. Do you know what that means? And they're hoping that this is released by the 3rd of December. Do you know what that means? That means that US Treasuries will be backed against Bitcoin. They're foreseeing the future. I have no doubt that BlackRock are going to do the same coming down the line. The Bitcoin liquidity that is about to come into this stage, into this market, is going to send your bags to the next galaxy, not even the moon, the next galaxy. The real Bitcoin bull market begins in two months time, November 28th, according to CryptoCon. I said kind of in November 24th, but you can see here, 28th, 28th, 28th is where he's charted it out at every time. This happens, that is when the true breakout is. Now, if you go and look at the chart that I shared with you on those previous videos, that truly is the time. So you can see here that this is where we get the next phase, the bull run, and we're actually at the top of the indicator at this point. Very, very interesting, right? Because November 28th is a super significant date. November 28th, November 28th, November 28th, November 28th, 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 28th. So what we are due to expect and to see, I don't know, could we just hit $100,000 this year? I'd like to know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Leave a comment down there. But According to Plan B, Bitcoin Relative Strength Index is at 63 right now and generally right in the middle of black area 65 between bull and bear. The RSI moving average yellow line, okay, cuts through the monthly noise and keeps rising to the bull area at 65. Okay, it's rising there. It's current coming into that 65 zone right now. You can see that this will probably end up pushing us up at least up here into this between 70 and 75 zone without a doubt. And who knows, maybe it could pump higher than what it did here. So it could pump higher. So I would say between 70 to 80, maybe even more because of all of the liquidity that will come in from all of these ETFs, these Bitcoin spots, perpetuals, all of that. Not only that, but there is XRP that has filed for an ETF too. Now the Bitcoin bull run is absolutely imminent and this will send all of the other cryptocurrencies on a crazy lunatic bull run as well, hitting you between 1x and 10,000x gains, I have no doubt. 
Bitcoin is ready for a huge bull run. You can see here after this falling wedge pattern, you can see we break out, we pull back and then we pump. We break out, so sit down, capitulate. That's what I was showing you on the chart here where we break out, sit here, pump. Okay, it's gonna happen in that very similar way. So this, according to Aurelian O'Hayan, could hit up to 340K kind of blow off top. I said, yes, it could hit 340K blow off top. However, my personal target is like a $300,000 chart. $300,000 to me seems quite reasonable uh, in terms of where we're at and, and how much liquidity could come into the space. $300,000 would give us a 6X on Bitcoin's market cap and Bitcoin's market cap is sitting at like a, like a 1.3 trillion. So that would give us an estimated kind of 10 to $12 trillion market cap just on Bitcoin. I keep reiterating this to you. This can go even more ballistic. Now the total market cap pumped. I don't know if we're only going to pump up to kind of $8 trillion. I reckon between 12 to $20 trillion is what we could possibly see in this cycle for the total market cap in crypto. What are your thoughts? You let me know down in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. For me, I've got to hop off onto another meeting now. Much love and we will see you on the next one, you blessed souls. Make sure to use my Bible link down below. Get some trading bonus, juicy, delicious trading bonus de deposits and uh, let's go and make some money together because we are ready to explode into the God candle in crypto. Much love, see you later.